by cleaning them. <laughs> Today we're starting in here in my master bathroom. We have one of these, as I like to call it, dust collectors. And this is where nothing ever happens. No one ever takes a bath in this. It's full of dust and grime and I absolutely can't stand this thing. It is high on my bucket list to get rid of. We're gonna fill this up above the jets and we are going to put half a cup of bleach, a tiny bit of Dawn in, and we're going to fill that up and we're gonna run the jets for 10 minutes and see what we get out of there. So that was a great way to get my jets clean. So let's just dive right in and do some more spring cleaning. Now that my kids are grown and gone, I am the worst about moving my cushions and vacuuming underneath. Look at this. I just feel like we hardly ever set over here on these sofas, but now I realize I probably should be doing this more than just once a year. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what chores do you avoid doing? I would love to hear. Now I like to go back and get this little tool and really get in the crevices and all the little dog hairs that I know that are getting left behind. So I have this back side of this pillow, look at this. This is from my grand dog Xander and it doesn't want to vacuum off so I'm going to go get a lint roller to get this off. You guys know I'm out here in my totally messy garage and if you guys follow along, you know that this has been like high on my bucket list to get cleaned up. Boy, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to get this garage cleaned up. What about you? I am very excited. It's overdue. It's way overdue. Yeah. I'm cracking up. Got that right next to the refrigerator. I'm messing around here. You're like, oh yeah. This I'm messing around here in the charming abode. <laughs> it's all seriousness. So something that we chose this year to help organize and maximize our space here in the garage is the flexi mount overhead garage lift. You guys know that I do not want to be climbing up and down on a ladder trying to get stuff down and organized. So we went with this lift system that is so awesome because you can either use the hand crank or you can use a drill and just and have it come up and down. It is so awesome. It totally maximizes my space here in the garage. I have tons of room where I can just get it up out of the way it is four feet wide by four feet long, so it's like a four by four. And it also holds up to 300 pounds, so that is amazing. So Jason was so gracious and put it together for me. It was a piece of cake. We just mounted it right into our ceiling, into our joist, and that was it. It was done. We have already, <laughs> as you can see, we tried out our air conditioning unit that we don't use very often and we wanted to get it out of the way and we're like let's check you know let's try this out i am so excited i am now going to get the rest of this garage nice and organized now that i have more space to use if you are looking for something to really be a space saver to really help you out to help you not have to go up and down on ladders to lift it up and down for you i highly recommend the flexi mounts there's a link to it listed down in the description box it'll take you right to it wow that really maximizes the space huh it does I like it. nice okay all right i want to get about 10 more of those <laughs> big thank you to flexi mounts for helping me to organize my life make things more simple maximize my space i love this overhead garage lift system and you guys will too link is down in the description box my water is hot I'm just taking a dish rag and then I have a dish towel and I'm just going to go wipe these down, get all the junk off that I see on them. And then dry it. Oh, it already looks so much better. <laughs> I know you probably can't see, but it looks great. All right, let's move on.
other areas to clean for spring cleaning I feel like are kind of obvious. People always have a tendency to do their ovens. You can clean inside your dishwasher. I'm gonna leave a video up here for you guys that I showed how I did that in my kitchen before. And so I'll link that there if you wanna check that out. If you guys are enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because I'm finding out from people that they haven't been notified when my videos come out. So that makes me kind of sad. So turn your notification bell on so you never miss out. Okay, next on my list that I never do, I do right here in this area often, but the rest of my backsplash in the kitchen, I hardly ever wipe down. This is a perfect time, I'm wiping down my cabinets. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like scrub all of my backsplash because I know it's dusty and dirty. So, don't forget about your backsplash in your kitchen for spring cleaning. This is the actual vent up underneath my vent hood. We're gonna pop those out and wash this because wow, it's a big greasy mess up under here. Okay, up under here, as you can see, there's like grease stuck all on there. And I think the easiest way for me to get that off without it just running everywhere is I like to use the pink stuff. So I'm gonna put that all over there and let that sit for a little bit and then come back and wipe it off. Leave a comment down below for everyone to see what are some random places that you guys spring clean. So that way you can share with us and hopefully we can all learn some new places that we should be cleaning. That stuff just wipes right off with that pink stuff. That is so awesome. Okay, springtime is the perfect time to check your smoke detectors, make sure they're working, if the batteries need to be changed, anything like that, depending on how your system works. Okay, for me, for spring cleaning, I'm gonna go around with a uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and do all my doors. Look at this. It's like we're cavemen and Get all of this off of here And cleaned up because holy manoli like what are we doing? I do my pantry door often I just because I don't know I think we touch it a lot with like dirty food or dirty hands But I don't do the rest of my doors very often. So I'm gonna go around and do those and then I'm gonna take a break. I might take a break for the rest of the day because the day's almost over and then get back at this get back at it again tomorrow keep that in mind when you're spring cleaning this is not designed to be done in one day so take your time and you are allowed to rest and only do as much as you want to do in a day Okay, for this next part for spring cleaning, I like to move my big items. So I have Jason here to help me. We're gonna move this table and this rug so I can get swept and mopped underneath. And then I also have another big item that I only usually move for spring cleaning. But let's get this done really quick because it's one of my least favorite things to do. This is also the perfect time to rotate your rug because mine gets worn out more right here because we walk on it. And so every year I spin it. And so that way, like a part that has it, so it's like wearing down evenly. Nice. 
There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're done with you. <laughs> Okay, another area that I clean for spring cleaning is all my vents, whether they're my ones that are on my wall or the ones that I have on my floor. I go around, I try and do this more often than spring cleaning. So I um, inspect them to see like how dusty and dirty they are. Some of them just need a good dusting. Some of them I need to physically take down and wash them in the sink. So I'm just gonna go around, check the rest of mine and see which ones actually need to be dusted or wash. That's just another item to put on your list for spring cleaning that sometimes we don't always think of. Okay, one that I always like to try and do in the spring is pretty typical. I like to clean my curtains and my blinds, but here's the deal. I am lazy when it comes to doing the curtains. So I just hung these recently, if you guys know, if you've been following along. So a lot of times I don't take them down and wash them because I've actually had some that have shrunk on me and then they didn't hang nicely anymore. So as long as they're not looking like visibly soiled and they're just a little dusty, I will take my vacuum and I will just dust them um, and just like vacuum over them and clean off the dust area. And this is the same thing I do for my Roman shades up here. They're the same way. I just dust those. Upstairs I do have hard blinds that I usually take a wet cloth this time of year and go through and clean those areas. So I know that's a kind of a typical item that most people have on their list for spring cleaning. Which leads me into my next one, which actually is pretty typical. And let's talk about cleaning windows. So for me, I did something last year that, wow, I loved. And I actually got someone who came and cleaned my outside windows. So I'm gonna go around this year and I'm gonna clean my inside windows and I'm gonna see if the same guy wants to come back and clean my outside windows. Only because I and Jason don't need to be climbing up on ladders super high and our house is tall and so I wanna avoid that and so I think we'll do that. So I'm gonna get the inside of my windows cleaned around my house and get my curtains dusted and then we are almost done with our spring cleaning. We just have a couple more things left on our list. Woohoo, these windows are dirty. And last on my list for spring cleaning is decluttering. As you saw, I was working on my garage. I go to some areas that I don't declutter very often. One of them is my medicine cabinet. That thing is always just a hot mess. And so I'm gonna go work on my medicine cabinet. I'm gonna leave a video up here for you guys. I feel like it gave a lot of really, really fantastic information on how to purposeful declutter because you gotta get the right frame of mind in order to declutter, and I think it gives some really great tips. So check that out, and you guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.